Hi guys, I'm Martikor, and this is the last time Zimi is going to school. She's growing up to an adult tonight or tomorrow in the morning. She is actually one day older than her cousins that grew up in the previous episode. But you know, in a rotational play, not everything is always in the right order. And honestly, I didn't remember that. I mean, it was pretty obvious that Zimi was older because she was born on screen and Blacker and Marog were not. But this also proves that I made them some kind of an early birthday somewhere on the way because they are only one day younger. So technically, Agut was already pregnant when I went on break with this series. The Ivan family was played ahead a little bit, but still, this is the lore. And I love how Blecker is just passing here and he's like, oh, so this is where grandma lives. <laughs> this is where Marog went to become a, the, the vampire that she is. Hi, hey, cuz. Harfia, are you okay? Good. <laughs> uh, what about Laros? I think he should go to his coffin too. But whenever they pass here, they get a drop in needs somewhere, I guess. I think it's downstairs, actually. Like, when they have to use these stairs, they are exposed to light for a little bit. And uh, this is not good for them. Oh, Harfia is supposed to go to work. Uh, yeah, do her duties as the mayor. Is she even... Like, she, she doesn't feel like it at all, but she should. Maybe I'll cheat a little bit. Teleport here. She's a witch. She can do whatever she wants. And just, just go. Really quick, really fast. The fastest you can. Thank you. You'll eat at work. You'll be okay. <laughs> Are you going? Wait, is someone else going to work at the same time? Not really. Why isn't it flying away? Thank you. About freaking time. <laughs> she returns at four. It's still daylight. So, um, I will have to teleport her again, I think. Jesus, a day job for vampires is the, the worst thing that can happen to them. Okay, so I think I will play one day in this family, and then I think I will just move Zimmy and Hanmoka to the Oakum family. I know th this um, reunion with the Damagas wasn't very long, um, but I think at some point I can move in Marog here to this house so that Blecker has space to have a family. He's a family sim after all. And also Hanmoka might return to this house. Oh, Neki and Nalena are here. And uh, there's a hole in the floor under the stairs? Yeah, so there probably will be a reunion in this house. Uh, for now, I think if only Hanmoka lived in this household, I wouldn't really feel like playing it that much um, with, you know, all the confusion and difficulty that vampires bring, even with the mod I have that makes it a lot better. Um, Marok doesn't have that many problems, but I, I think this house is just cursed. <laughs> probably because of this staircase, really. <laughs> Because by the time they go downstairs, through the entire stairs, like two floors, and then like go into the car pool or like helicopter or something, their needs will already drop so much uh, that, that it's it's insane. Um, yeah, but that helicopter made, made me think of an idea that I had to make like a little airport kind of thing, especially that the university is already being built. It's technically already added to the neighborhood. And I will uh, dox that the university is in a crater. So people will have to fly to that university. So I think we could have a little like aircraft place where there would be like two helicopters or something uh, and we would just assume that this is how they travel to the other sides of the planet. Hanmoka was probably the one who found that crater that could be inhabited for university. <laughs> Thank you, Hanmoka. <laughs> She's a warhead disarmer. I guess she, she could have um, discovered that place a little lower in her career. 
a tiny bit earlier. She was just like, hey, this place could be good for building something if we need it. And years later, people are like, yeah, let's have a university. I think when Marog is here, I will try to change this house a little bit so it's not um, so hopeless when they go down the stairs. Maybe I will build them an elevator or something. That could be useful. Elevators don't have windows, they can easily be dark inside. Oh, Hanmoka didn't go to work. Well, okay, that was a good day to work on her skills, really. She has a lot of vacation days. A university is being built, but we are not at the point where it would be open. Um, Quay is not high enough in his career. He is high enough to start building a university, but not high enough for the university to actually work already, so Zimmy is not going to university. Okay, Harfia, can you just teleport, please? Oh my god, she brought groceries from a mod that I just installed. <laughs> you don't have the time. <laughs> no, she she's good. She She's not dropping right now. I don't know how that works exactly. Yeah, she's a vampire, she's stinky, she's terrified to be outside, and she's like, hey, I bought groceries. And now she's teleporting. <laughs> I didn't need that anymore. Just go to sleep. Okay, we're having birthday at night because that's how everyone can participate. And werewolves actually have plenty of energy at night, so they are compatible. Ty is somewhere here. Hi there. No cutscene this time because it's not a party. <laughs> Is this Weeru's dress? It's not exactly Weeru's because they don't have access to her wardrobe, but this is exactly the same one, right? That is so weird. Zimmy, if she were alive right now, she would be close to being your sister-in-law. Please change. Okay, before Ty leaves, because it's pretty late, kiss him. I need you guys to have some kind of a romantic relationship again before I move you in with the Oakham family. Really, Ty? Isn't your skin pink enough? Give me a kiss. Okay, for now, Zimmy wants to be an entertainment or adventurer like her mom, but I have another idea for her. I was talking about politics, but that was before Mara got into politics. It would be interesting to have cousins of similar age be rivals in politics, you know, but um, Harfia will always be here unless she dies because she's a vampire and it's miserable. Dula is still here working his way towards the mayor job. So I think that's enough. Um, Zimmy has high interest in animals and she kinda is an animal. So I think animal care is the career for her, especially that we try to have animal care but it's not compatible with plant sims. So Ula had to quit his job in animal care. I think Zimi could get the job. And she is definitely adopting one of the puppies that were born at her cousin's house. So I'll play one day in the Oakham family to get them all in sync, and then I'll move in Zimi and Hanmoka. I forgot to change Zimmy's clothes and it will be so weird when she comes here in the same dress that Weir was just wearing before she died. But they have more money. They can buy her all the clothes that she wants. So a tiny um, reminder that Haduma was running amok and broke. So Weir was pretty handy and she tried to fix Haduma, especially that she was a doctor. So, you know, it, it was kind of like connected. Um, but unfortunately, she got shocked twice and died. And I can only tell you that I will try to bring her back. We will get to that later this round. Because I really don't like the idea of the entire blind line to die out. Because there's no other blind Planet Alaris sim who could, like 
continue the legacy. Technically Quay, but he is pretty old. He is the last specimen of the line without vision. And only this one daughter of his was also blind. So I spent way too much time figuring out how, how they would work and, you know, all the restrictions that they would have or not to just let the line die out like that. I will not allow it. If I'd remembered, I would have just pled to the Grim Reaper. But I didn't remember about that, so, um, yeah. Oh yeah, there's Wiru. So my idea for Haduma for now is fixing her. Oh, we already have a repairman coming today, good. Do you want to talk to Narst before he goes to work? I'm not sure if he works Saturdays? It's possible. Also, that reminded me about something really cool. Okay, let's talk. I need to make you happier. Oh, have a oh woohoo in bed. That that will always make them so much happier. It's a big want. Oh man, he has all of the weekend off right now. Yeah, education. Okay, so I guess we'll we're working on the skills. There's a lot of work to do, <laughs> especially that he doesn't read. And he is a university guest lecturer, so a level above that is where I would say, okay, we can have a perfectly working, established university. Yeah, the Saturday thing reminded me that someone gave me an excellent tip in the comments on um, how to keep track of when I lose a day better uh, without actually synchronizing all the days in the neighborhood, because I don't do that. That's too much work. Whenever sims move, the season changes, the days change, I I will not deal with that. I, I just leave it as it is. Quay, it's the romance aspiration talking. Um, Well, technically he has uh, chemistry with Haduma, but that would be weird. She practically killed his daughter, so let's not go there. But he's bisexual and he also has chemistry with La Ross, with Kushin, with Agut. And with Hanmoka, actually. So th there's a lot of people. <laughs> but back to the tip. The commenter said that they mark all the Sundays with a thicker line. So if something goes wrong, it's easy to go back when Sunday was and how many days actually passed. This is so simple, but so smart. <laughs> so I'm taking it, but I'm changing it to my own needs. Since I use a pencil... Um, and the lines can be different depending on how sharp the pencil is. I am marking a tiny line through the line that already, like, shows a day that passed. So I make, like, a little cross, I guess, in that place. And I am marking Saturdays, because Saturdays are the days that are pretty significant in my mind for some reason, probably because it's the weekend and, and I'm like, oh, they're not doing anything today, you know? How did I not think of that? That's my first question. And second, thank you. Okay, we're fixing Haduma for now. But... They wouldn't want Haduma here. I don't think so. Not after what she did. Well, it was Wiru's choice to try to fix her, but they can just be like, we can't have her here. It's too much. And also it's dangerous, you know? So, I had an idea that since Quay has some restrictions when it comes to learning skills, he can only learn through practice... Um, I figured that he could absorb skills from Haduma, and I needed his aspiration meter to be higher than just green, so that it succeeds, uh, so that it's guaranteed that it's gonna work. Again, how did I not think of that sooner? <laughs> that he could just do that. That's perfect. <gasps> he got a cleaning point. That's the one that we need most. And they don't like each other after that, of course. Why would they like each other after doing that? You know what? Absorb as many skills as you possibly can. Just, just sucker dry. <laughs> I'm not sure what he took. Maybe creativity? She has a lot of creativity. She has a lot of skills in general. 
Um, but she doesn't really have that much charisma. He has more. So I, oh no, they have the same points. So I don't think he, he can take charisma from her, but he can take logic. But charisma and logic are the skills that he can easily learn just, you know, talking to himself and playing chess. I figure that they can easily play ch play chess even on Earth. We have chess for blind people specifically. It's a game that can easily be changed into like a touch thing, you know? Okay, once again, maybe you'll get that logic point and it will take less time. What? No? He's not really taking anything anymore. I guess she did lose cleaning. She might have had more. Hey, Vrukork. Yeah, I changed his clothes finally. <laughs> How do you like that? Yeah, I guess that's enough. Let's just put it somewhere in your bedroom. And I think we need to power down Haduma for now. Maybe I will change her into a townie one day? Oh my gosh, she's saying goodbye to the cat. <laughs> she's best friends with the cat. No. <laughs> this is too much. Don't worry, Rue. She'll be back one day, maybe. Okay, let's uh, move her to this closet here. So I don't see her most of the time. <laughs> So we don't see her most of the time because it looks kind of morbid when the servo is just like Powered down and just standing there, you know, let's just hide her in a closet So there's plenty of room here to have both Hanmoka and Zimi and also have two kids um, I think if we bring back Wiru then Hanmoka might go back to the Damaga family to not, you know, take up space in this family, but for now, there's plenty of room, and this will be Ty and Zimmy's bedroom. Um, maybe Wiru's room could be empty for now. This is Wiru's room, so Hanmoka could be here. We could change this room a little bit. And this is also um, an empty room that someone can have, like a, like a child in the future. Oh my god, he got another cleaning point from her. I just now saw that. Yeah, I think she might have had 10, and he took two. I love that. I thought that Haduma could take a medicine job in honor of Wiru. But for now, she's powered down because they can't handle having her around. It kind of feels like some kind of a creepy toy that you really wanted as a child. And then it turned out that it was just like too spooky for you. And it's just somewhere in the corner, somewhere in a closet, <laughs> just hidden there. Uh, and then after a few years, you um, try to play with it again because nostalgia hits you. And then... It turns out that, yeah, okay, that toy was actually creepy, so you put it down again. <laughs> Soon is becoming an elder today. Oh, hey, Zimmy. Um, yeah, werewolf personality. Ew. Enjoy your meal. Um, she ate from the garbage and, and, just, and just entered the house to woohoo. Well, she had to get some calories in her because she's gonna burn them. You can't do it hungry. Especially when you're a werewolf and the hunger is really strong. Are you going for it? Because you guys were trying to when you were still teenagers. And it also didn't work out, so... um. Oh, okay, on the bench, sure. I guess this will work. They just can't decide. Okay. I wanted to throw a party for Zimmy. <laughs> kind of like a housewarming, move-in party. <laughs> Inero Zoivi, sure. This is also a recent mod of mine that the game asks if you want to have someone over. Actually, the, the entire relationship is here now, so that's cool. Uh, Ty doesn't really know Inero that well to invite him. No, actually, he knows him... A little bit. He invited Nars that he doesn't know um, that well. But I just wanted to invite Zimmy's family. But Inero... Is Inero Zimmy's family? No, not really. Inero and Nars are cousins. But Zimmy is not related to Inero. She is only related to Nars. How is she related to Nars? He is her uncle, I think. Oh! 
<laughs> Quay wanted to play a game with Nars, and he just randomly joined the chess match. That's nice. Well, that could be a birthday party, really. I marked Saturday in the notebook. Um, Rekina? Are you doing stuff with glass? Is he freaking irresistible or something? Um, Rekina also refreshed her romantic relationship with Loras since she's an adult. She's been busy. Wait, how about we make this an engagement party? Okay, let her eat. She will transform in an hour, so maybe let's let her do that. If she accepts your ring in her werewolf form, she would anytime. She really loves you. Rekina, stop gossiping about Wiro. Too soon. Speaking of soon, are you having birthday? Did you forget? Ah, of course, the discount home furnishings warehouse. Oh, okay. Let's make this an engagement party, please. So that Rekina knows that you're taken. Yay! No one is looking. That's fine. <laughs> oh, that was her want? I didn't see that. Oh, wait, you were supposed to propose when she's in the form. <laughs> well, apparently she really wanted that, so I guess works anyway. Okay, if she accepts your move-in proposition in her werewolf form, <laughs> we're good. Okay, now this household is as big as it should be. Because it's the Oaken family. It, it's, it has been big for a while. She wants to get married. She doesn't have her secondary aspiration yet. Should I give her family? I wanted to assign her secondary aspiration to her werewolf personality. But she uh, hasn't really switched her personality fully yet. It happens with every transformation and she hasn't had that many of them yet. I think I will give her family. Even if it's out of character. The wants about marriage and engagement, even though they are not unlikely for knowledge sims, they kind of made me think of that. And also the animal care thing. Uh, she will be more likely to get, uh, get a dog want, for example. And also they will have more than one child because Ty will probably be abducted by aliens. This kind of works. Ty, are you gonna... Okay, not yet. There's no animal care on the computer. Okay, it's finally time after the party. Oh wow, that's a lot of purple. When will I have to age up glass? I think along with Quay, they are exactly the same age, right? I think I will get a bed for Hanmoka in this empty room where Haduma is hidden. Actually, had oh my god, I pierced her. Um, never mind. <laughs> Actually, Haduma and Hanmoka are best friends. I really hope Hanmoka doesn't find out that Haduma is here. I think at some point I might move her back into the Damaga family. She was there for some time. I think this is better for Zimi, even if it's a little earthy. I like how, well, earthy the colors are. <laughs> you know, like soil, brown, this kind of stuff. And going through couches because they're set diagonally. No animal care today either. And Quay is suitable for that promotion now. Hope he'll get it tomorrow. But there's not really that much rush right now because there's no one who can actually go to university. I, I just thought of that now. That there aren't really any kids that are close. Like, th there aren't any teenagers right now. <laughs> Maybe I will have to play Plant Alaris a little bit longer so that I can actually play at university that I've built. It's getting quite fun since the drama round. Um, Elaganda? She was just struck by lightning. What is she doing here anyway? Okay, are you guys getting married today? I'm not sure. They're pretty young still. Maybe let's wait a bit. A stereo costing at least 1800. Okay, Hanmoka, I can get you a stereo. Maybe I will even put it in your room. There you go. Perfect. Birthday time. 
Oh yeah. Minus nine. <laughs> Malaya Gadaya. And Glass. Um, but I'm thinking that Peperutka could be a little bit younger than Glass, maybe. Um, she was technically made as his mother. <laughs> He was a teenager and she was an adult, but you know, they're townies, it doesn't matter. I will age her up, but maybe at the next elder birthday. Maybe along with Bo or Hanmoka. Hanmoka's birthday is in seven days. I will dress Quay the exact same way as his father was dressed. It kind of looks like a university philosopher, <laughs> lecturer. He will probably be a music teacher, because I always thought of him as a music teacher. I mean, he's probably like a general teacher as well, but music is his specialty. He is the only teacher here, except townies, maybe some townies that work in education. Wait, maybe I'll actually check if someone works in education. It's not very likely, because I think um, the game doesn't really assign expansion pack careers to townies and education is from seasons. Oh, there it is. Oh, Seleni, obviously. So no townies, but Seleni. Seleni is also a teacher. I completely forgot about that. I was just saying that like two episodes ago. And they are actually best friends because they work together. Oh, great. A soaked newspaper. I'm afraid that Rue will actually pass away today at 11. Zimmy doesn't have any pet wants. I think I will just adopt a dog like that. This is the perfect family to have a pet. There was never not a pet in this family, I don't think. Maybe for like a really short time. At the beginning, this was the only family that actually had a pet. You know what, Zimmy? I think I've had enough of searching. Career manipulator. Animal care, please. Dog walker, that works. Well, there are dogs for adoption, so there is a shelter. So she might be a shelter worker. And with that said, let's get a dog. Can cry is here. Can I cry? Okay, there were three girls and a boy born in the Zoivi family, right? Because Goitz that stayed with them is also a girl. I guess let's just take Gela, that is the first one on the list. I pronounce her name Gela, not Jella. That's the most intuitive, right? But both Gubs and Goitz are pronounced with a G sound, so I think we need to stay consistent. So it's kind of like the spelling is like this, but let's keep the spelling. Yeah, and Rue is gone. Just the perfect transition. Oh my god, soon is so unhappy. And Zimmy is just dancing, yeah, she is definitely interested in animals. Bye, Rue. Let's move this grave, but only this one, to Alade's Rest Garden. Um, Zimmy doesn't really like her kind of mother-in-law that much. She is not biologically connected to Tai. She is like his stepmom. So yeah, I, I guess that is a mother-in-law. And Zimmy went to work, so Gela is just... J just hanging. Pizza! <laughs> I love that mod. I, I knew about it for such a long time and I never had it. It's such a useful mod. Link in the description. Perfect. Let's just say this is some kind of takeout food that they have on this planet. They would have something, right? Okay, both Zimmy and Ty are on green now. So I think we could have that wedding party. Oh yeah, this is a wedding so people have very random clothes because I'm too lazy to set up everything for everyone. Um, I did give Zimmy a wedding dress, but I'm not sure about Ty. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is better. Is Zimmy the only person with the Ivan last name? I think so. And Ty's last name is Beer. It's Glass's last name. I guess Beer Ivan or Ivan Beer could work. They're both short. Yeah, Zimmy has a simple long brown dress. Yay! 
Oh. Makoyo. Mm -hmm. Only Jexus has a normal dress. One that actually matches her style. Um, Narst? That's not the right direction, but okay. We don't judge on this planet. Oh, and right before the transformation. Let's eat then. I guess Ineto's attire kind of works. I like the colors. It's a little bit earthy, but the colors are weird enough. <laughs> and also he only wears white, so it makes sense. Another roof raiser. This is the party house. Always has been. Oh, Quay didn't get promoted today. He, uh, his performance is not even all the way up yet. So I guess next round, because this is the third day. So I will only play through his day off and he goes back to work next round. Yeah. Okay, one of my favorite mods, last name copier. Edit, last name, Ivan Beer. And now copy my last name to Ty. And we have both of them with a double name. Is it called a double name? Because you don't actually repeat the same thing. Yeah, it can be called a double name, but it can also be hyphenated because it's connected with a dash, so it's hyphenated. Soon got promoted. I didn't expect that. I, I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> but she's a knowledge sim, so she will always... Like, she, she will get the skills eventually. Ah, uh, what is this? This looks like an extra brow. Her brows are so strong that, of course, they go through bangs. Uh, I was thinking to give Zimmy uh, a different hairstyle that would show her fatigue ears more. Because Hanmoka also has... She, she has a wolf cut, literally. But yeah, Hanmoka's ears don't show either. So I think Zimmy could show them a little bit. The hair has to be straight, I guess, because it's, it is Harfia's hair. So maybe something short or done up or tied. What is this? <laughs> I guess I will just give her this short hair. This is the easiest option. <gasps> Zimmy wants a baby. Love that for her. And she got this want after transforming into a wolf. That's so cute. Uh, Hanmoka? What the hell are you doing? Is Hanmoka... Oh yeah, Hanmoka is bi. Because she's Harfia's daughter, so I figured she would just, like, be like the Damagas, you know? I am still thinking about Maurog, if she should be bisexual as well. Uh, because, well, I guess technically it's kind of, like, hereditary in that family, even though for humans it doesn't work that way. <laughs> um, Hanmoka, you really... What chemistry do you even have with Silma? <laughs> Nothing. Stop it. She is taken. She shows chemistry towards females because La, well, technically La is non-binary or like no gender, you know, marked white in the family tree. But from the game's perspective, she's a female. So yeah, all the rest are males in her chemistry, really. But she does show chemistry towards females. So probably on Silma's side, uh, Sil Silma pr probably doesn't like her as much as Hanmoka likes her. So... Uh, it's just like no chemistry. Oh man, Wiro is out. She actually scared me with the reenactment of, of her death. Oh, and Ty, of course, got scared by a ghost. I wanted to try for baby. And he got the flu, of course. And I guess Zimmy will just be walking around pregnant, yeah. In between rounds. Uh, turns out I'm your boss's cousin. Lienka, I am pretty sure you don't have any family aside of your biological daughter that was adopted. Love how Ty is so unhappy that I tell him to look through the, the telescope when his one true hobby is literally science. It's of course because he's playful and he thinks that's lame, but... <laughs> It's really the only thing he does. Like, that's his career. In his lifetime want. Wiro is scaring someone, Hanmoka. I'm guessing, because she, she just disappeared. Oh, Narst. They used to be friends. They, they, they actually used to date as teenagers, and then they were best friends, and now she scares him. Uh, I mean, relationships don't really... Yeah, bye. Uh, don't really affect um, the if the ghost is gonna scare the sim or not or how often. Uh, but it just it's it's so sad. 
when they used to be friends and then the ghost is so mean. Oh yeah, I was supposed to say that I will play until 11 a.m. So to, to see what Gela, um, yeah, grows up into. Oh yeah. So she's in maternity leave for Dog Walker level 1. On this level, they only work two hours a day, but every day. I guess she could do it pregnant, but okay. And this is Gela. Looks like Ravra with Gubbs's coat. Basically. Yeah, definitely. That's what I was expecting, I guess. So next time in this family, we'll have a baby born with either one or two eyes. And when Ty has the alien baby, people won't be able to tell that this is not Zimmy's baby, because Zimmy is green too. And with the pollination technician, I can have some control over the face features of the baby, so that's even better. In the next episode, I'm pretty sure I will play with Inero, Jexus, and Silma. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video, and see you in the next one. Bye! My boy only breaks his favorite toys, toys. Oh, 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 oh I'm queen of sandcastles he destroys.